Good morning, Professor Spee. It's a pleasure to have you here in Frankfurt at the VDE headquarter. You're the chairman of the ETG Congress, which is taking place this year in November 2015 in Bonn. What topic is the Congress about? Well, within the Power Engineering Society, we decided to change the headline of the yearly ETG Congress to Die Energiewende. Well, Die Energiewende seems to be a little bit strange, because it's a German word, but it made already its way into the English vocabulary. And I think the rest of the world knows pretty well what's meant if we are talking about Die Energiewende. We are talking about an electricity system or an energy system, which comprises more than 80%, at the end of the day, more than 80% on renewables and uh, within the ETG Congress we will address all the important topics but not just single components or single reference projects so far but at least the whole system which is necessary to control such an energy system. That sounds very interesting. Could you give us um, some more details please? Well, we will have uh, uh, four sessions where we address uh, different topics. As said before, we will uh, start with the system aspect, just to address the system as, as it, in general and at, at, uh, at a whole. Uh, then we will talk about components and technologies which are necessary to control such a system. Market and regulatory environment is also an important aspect which is addressed in the third session. As well as in the end, uh, we will talk about reference projects and already making the first experience on the, these kind of systems which are necessary in the future. You mentioned twice um, that you have a certain focus um, on the system aspect. What is the reason for this? Well, around the world there are a lot of investigations done on single components like storage devices or HVDC links, but uh, uh, at least nobody or just a few people are discussing the whole system, which we have to have at the end of the day, and if we are talking about the German energy event in 2050. So this is the importance, why we are concentrating on the whole system, and uh, uh, we are doing this in a very special way at the Power Engineering Society, and maybe also during the Congress, we are doing this in a retrospective approach, so we assume that we have achieved already this 80% or even more on renewable energy supply, and then out of this decide or discuss how to control the whole system. Because the problem is that the, the, we can't take an evolutionary approach to get there because we have a lot of uh, obligations from the legal point of view. We have made a lot of experience in the last 150 years and these are to some extent in contradiction what we would like to achieve because the system in 2050, which is called the energy vendor system, will look totally different. And just to address this from just a technical point of view, we have chosen this approach and this is why systems as aspects are so important. Professor Spee, I found it interesting um, that a call for posters was made and not a call for paper. Why? Well, we, we changed a little bit the format of the whole Congress, because <clears throat> as I said before, we'll have four sessions, but uh, within the four sessions we will have invited speakers, but uh, we'll also have uh, two of the authors of the posters uh, contributing to each and every session. And we will spend a lot of time in a panel discussion. So each and every session will comprise a separate panel discussion on the dedicated topic. And the posters will be shown during dedicated time slots. But the authors of the posters have to know that they are competing to other activities during these dedicated breaks. What are those activities? Well, we have, uh, beside the poster presentations, we will have uh, a forum of uh, all the suppliers in the electrical and uh, energy industry, which will have the chance to make their own presentations during these dedicated time slots, but also to have as a standard fair with their booths to show their products, their offerings. But more important is that they are going to give really presentations during this time, and hopefully uh, this will also be highly accepted by the auditorium. The ETG Congress, um, the first time, is um, held in English. There must be a reason for this. Sure, there is a reason, because uh, as I said, Energiewende is well known, also in the English-speaking countries today. And we would like to make uh, this Congress the main Congress in the world to show the way, the path to the future, to energy systems which are reliable, which are sustainable, 
because they are comprising more than 80% of renewable energy. And uh, this will be the blueprint for the rest of the world, not just for Germany, but Germany will be the living lab and uh, for the benefits of Europe, but also for the rest of the world. And this is why we established this in English now. Dear Professor Spee, I'm really impressed. That is an outstanding event and I'm looking forward for it. I wish us all good luck for this. Well, thank you, Mr. Kroos, and uh, I hope that I can see you soon at the ETG Congress in Bonn. And I'm quite sure that this will be an interesting event, and you are highly, highly welcome to see us in Bonn. Thank you.